Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So excited that you're joining me for a few minutes today. Um, so one of the things that I wanted to really accomplish with my blog and my channel is really helping myself. One of my coaches said this uh, one thing a long time ago and it's always stuck with me, that you have to kind of be your own best client. So before you can really help people, you have to really help yourself. You might also have heard this as the sentiment to teach us to learn. So if you sign up to be a teacher of any sort, you're basically signing up to always be a student because you can't teach what you haven't already learned for yourself, I guess. So uh, something that's really up for me right now is the fear of it's all been done before. My channel is obviously brand new. It's a completely fledgling channel. I'm doing kind of everything from making the videos, editing the videos, and trying to get the word out there by myself. And this, a big insecurity that's coming up for me right now is that this isn't original, it's all been done before. And if you're a creative of any sort, you've probably felt this too. And so basically, my biggest antidote to this limiting belief, or limiting story, if you will, is something Liz Gilbert, who wrote Eat, Pray, Love, um, said in one of the interview she's done over the years that's always stuck with me. She said, yeah, it's, all, it's guaranteed it's been done before, but it hasn't been done yet by you, right? And she said that authenticity is really what sets work apart and resonates with people as opposed to originality. There's really nothing that's totally original anymore because, you know, human beings have been around for such a long time and it's just there's been so many different creative pursuits in so many different fields and so it's it's almost guaranteed that you're not going to be a hundred percent original but it's really authenticity that lies underneath the content like someone's unique voice their unique story and their unique vantage point and perspective that kind of i think the way she said it it gives that shimmer of gold that like touches people's hearts and so I really want to work on, as a belief system, replacing it's all been done before with it hasn't been done by me, or the belief system of this is an original to, or I'll never be able to be original to, I'll always be able to be authentic if I stay true to me, right? And so again, going back to my channel being about empowerment, both of those new beliefs are infinitely more empowering and inspire a lot more action, a lot more creation than the old disempowering beliefs of it's all been done before and you know, I am not creative enough to be totally original, right? Like any variation of that, if you felt it, try replacing it with the new beliefs. And if you need a little extra oomph to really like get this going, if you need to be convinced a little bit more, what helps me is to always have some kind of example that really truly resonates with me to my core that my new belief is true. So in this case, the new belief is authenticity is what's more powerful than originality or your own unique voice is what's going to touch people. So I have one idea I'd like to share and then one example. So the idea is the concept of, I'm sure we all have had the um, instance in our lives of, you know, hearing a concept over and over again, but it not really clicking in our heads until one particular person says it right and you can probably think of at least one example in your life where this has happened maybe your parents said something growing up or your uh, friends said something growing up but it wasn't until you met this person in college that everything clicked right there's always at least probably one example that you can find and by the way i found quality over quantity here one really good example is so much more powerful than five kind of half-assed examples um, one really good example is all you need to kind of start convincing yourself that the new belief is true. At least that's the case for me. So the example for me is when I started on my spiritual path, I was so new to all the concepts and so green to everything that I talk about now like it's second nature, but back like eight, nine years ago, it was all brand new to me. And there was one author in particular who remains one of my favorites to this day, who was talking about concepts from another spiritual text. But she was doing it in a super down-to-earth, casual, almost chatty, conversational way. And 
her, the, because she wrote her books in that voice, in her unique voice, I remember reading that first book thinking, I feel like I'm just having coffee with her. It doesn't even feel like I'm reading a book or like putting a lot of effort in. But I'm so glad that she writes that way because it made those somewhat esoteric concepts at the time super um, accessible for me. It really opened the door to all this whole spiritual world. It really helped me start my spiritual practice. My mind was opened, and because I'd already established the baseline of knowledge, I now could read authors that were talking in more advanced terms and about more complex things. And even this author, who's graduated to much more complex topics, I could read those books and implement those concepts more successfully because I had already established a firm foundation. But what I needed was her voice and her tone and the story she told that I could really resonate with in my own life. I needed her to do it for me. And if I had read any other book at that time, I mean, that's probably why I didn't even pick them up because it was just too out of my reach and it was beyond my scope at the time. And how crazy is it to think that if this woman didn't exist and didn't do her work, I wouldn't be able to be such a spiritual person today or talk to you guys on this channel, you know? So it really only takes like the one person sometimes for your whole worldview to shift or for your paradigm to change or for something to click, right? And we can all be that person for someone. I'm not trying to be original at all. I'm trying to convey concepts uh, in my own voice, from my point of view. And maybe the way I see things will change something for you or help you see something in a new way. Or maybe it just helps to hear it again. And so that's kind of why I'm here. And I also, let's be honest, I already said this in the beginning of the video, I kind of did this video for me first and foremost because this limiting belief is really, really rearing its head right now. And I want to keep reminding myself that I don't need to be original. I don't need to be groundbreaking. I just need to be true to me and share the message the best way I can right now. And hopefully that helps other people. And even if it doesn't, I feel more alive because I've stepped out of my comfort zone and I've done this thing, filming a video, putting content out there that I've been talking about for such a long time that I feel a call to do. And so hopefully that helps you as well. If you ever feel like, I'm not original enough, or it's all been done before, etc., etc. Take a step back, think to yourself, you know what, what I really need to be is authentic, not original. And my authenticity is what will resonate with people. And then try to come up with one really powerful example in your life where you think, wow, this one topic, I kept hearing these concepts, but it didn't click until this person said it in their specific way. And use that example to kind of anchor yourself in that new belief. I you know, have a calling to share a message. There's probably someone that needs to hear it on the other end. And even if there isn't, I'm still gonna feel more fulfilled and more alive by doing the thing that I feel like I'm meant to do. I hope that helps someone. And thank you so much as always for spending a few minutes with me here today. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye.